What's up guys, Nick Major here, APTV correspondent. I'm out in San Bernardino at Self Help Fest 2016 today. Who's excited for today? <laughs> Woo! Any bands in particular that we're excited um, to see? Crown the Empire, Empire. and a day to remember. Oh, fucking everyone. Tonight Alive, um, Issues, Under Oath's coming back. Yeah, fucking Under Oath's coming back. And I've never seen a day to remember. Oh my goodness. You've never seen a day to remember? She's about to have the best day of her life, and I can't wait. Walking the line, it's almost time for the doors. <laughs> I thought they were gonna scream. Never mind. Over at the Pink Tin today, who would be here? Of course, Jeffrey Star. But not that pink hair I'm used to seeing. We've got some nice black hair. How we doing? How are you? Good. I'm not used to seeing you so. Right? Yeah. Listen, it's been a minute, right? It's been a few minutes. AP, last time y'all saw me, I was doing music. We quit music. Now we have a multi-million dollar makeup line. So I'm here as usual, grassroots, meeting everybody in the dirt, in the grass, in full motherfucking glam. I just want to put a, a needle through your heart right now. It's <laughs> yeah. very Uma Thurman of you. I'm down. Just the this right amount of bands. Exactly. They're all heavy hitters. Day to Remember really knows what they're doing with this kind of thing, and, and uh, they've spent a lot of years doing a lot of festivals. So I think they've taken from their experience and what they've always thought could be better, and they've really just fucking nailed it. Issues are on the stage now, so I gotta go check that out. How are we doing, Michael? Wonderful. wonderful, fucking wonderful. Nah, man, cause deep down you know it sucks to be you. Inside stage, inside of an airplane hangar. Tonight Alive are in there right now. Let's see if we can catch them. So I'm gonna die tonight. G'day guys, I'm here with Jenna from Tonight Alive. How are we doing today, mate? That was pretty, like, that's cl really close. Done. That's I have 88%. <laughs> I'm really impressed. I can officially now blend in with the Aussies. Probably one of the cooler festivals we've played. Everything's laid out pretty simple. Uh, staff and crew and everyone's pretty pretty legit and very well ran. Here with Kevin Lyman, the man behind Warp Tour, of course. How does it feel? We're at Self Help Fest. You're not the one who's running around doing all the stuff. I don't stuff know what to do. Absolutely at a loss. Some more exciting news, though. We, it was just announced Taste of Chaos is coming back. Yeah, we went on sale yesterday, and I'm really, really stoked. It's going to do a lot of it's, it was, it's time. It is, and it is such a Taste of Chaos lineup. It is. It's a Taste of Chaos lineup. Like I, I said, that age group needs to have some fun, singing songs that when they were younger and when everything was easy, they didn't have student loans. and jobs they had to go to every morning, you know? Come aloud and sing it, Taste the Chaos. How does it feel to be not only the front man of a band, but also the man behind a clothing company now? Really good. You guys are a very self-sufficient band. Yes, we are. So I'm guessing you've all had you've all had experience with the merch side of stuff anyway. Oh, yeah. So it was easy to transition? It definitely was. We used to sell and print kind of all of our own merch too, so. This is kind of the next level for us. People know what is good here. They got the sad boy. I got my sad boy on. Let's go stop by their tent okay. and see what's going on. Hey, come here. Come on. You need to chat with me, Christian. Tell me about sad boy crew. How did this come to be? All right. I was going through a very down time in my life. Photography wasn't doing as well as I wanted it to. So I branched out and dug into digital media. And so you made this? I made this. Three years ago, four years ago, it was just an idea, a concept to do self-help. Right. And so what sparked that idea? Well, it's something we were always throwing around with our management team because they were really big on helping us make something that was ours, our very own thing. And uh, this is what we focused on, came up with a, a name and a subject that kind of matters to our genre of music. And we just wanted to put on something that like really took care of the bands backstage as well. We got a lot of uh, that from European festival touring. Like those those festivals take care of us every time That's we go right, over there, here. and like we were always like, I wish there was something like that in America. Mm -hmm. So like, it just kind of coexisted with our idea, and now we're here doing it. Well, I'm glad this festival is three years strong. I know we can expect it next year. It looks like yes. then it'll be four years strong. So you need to get four years strong. Nice little fun. play there. Hey, okay. I think we know yeah, some bands next year. Crown the Empire, literally playing right behind me. All these people right here. Check them out. How you doing, 
beautiful. Good to see you again, big dog. Uh, this is a good festival. Everybody seems to have fun here. A band puts it on, so it's, it's our, biggest set, too. our biggest show, like crowd-wise. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Crowd. I was up on stage for some of it, and that crowd, you could only see people. Yeah. That was awesome. It was amazing. It's a good feeling. It feels good. Look who I found. How are you doing, man? Good. How are you? Good. Tell me about how the set just was at Self Help. You guys just killed it. Yeah, this is our first time, but it's really awesome. Good crowd out there. Yeah, super good. I want that one. I want that one. Uh, I want that one. I want that one. I want that one. I want that. Oh, I want. Oh, wow. She didn't let me. Have, I thought she picked them out for me and was buying them for me, but I was wrong. But I want that one and that one. Guys, I don't usually get like emotional, but playing right behind me right now is August Burns Red. <laughs> I, if you can't tell by my hat, by how often I wear it, I just love them. I'm sorry, I just want to go watch August Burns Red. I get really emotional. They're so good, man. They're not selling this hat anymore. If anybody wants $450 for this August Burns Red hat. Nobody seems to give a shit. What motivated you guys to, you know what? We've been out for a few years. Let's get back together. It kind of happened organically through like a series of text messages, literally. You know, we started texting about one, another thing and it turned into this. It's great. It's good to be back with your OG homies, you know? I think, Jeremy, I was chatting with him earlier. Did they reach out to you about playing this? Yeah, I, I know it was brought up that if we wanted to play our own LA show or do this, and we wanted to do this with all of our friends. A lot of the bands here, you guys helped influence, and because I've been chatting with them, they're stoked to see you guys. That makes us feel old, though. No, you're, because you guys got started when you were <laughs> younger than everybody else. No, we, I know, we were young, we were babies. I looked 11 when I started in Under Oath. I'm sure you were, because no, you guys <laughs> I was 15. Exactly. Who is excited to see Under Oath? <laughs> We got ourselves a good crowd for Unroad, ladies and gentlemen. Do I look good, mate? What are you doing, Nick? How we doing, beautiful? Uh, I'm good, man. I just saw fucking... Under Rose and fucking Aaron Gillespie's fucking shred right now. I cannot recall ever seeing you with facial hair like this. It's an experiment right now. It's looking like a solid experiment Experiment so far. Solid. Look, dude, it doesn't look so solid to me. I was trying to be nice. He looks like a prepubescent girl, guy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, but yeah. you guys played this last year, correct? Yes, we did. It was fun as hell. So how does it feel to be back from the perspective of a spectator? Oh, man. Uh, Under Oath play, like, together with actually Aaron in the band. Fucking awesome. A Day to Remember's up next, though. That's going to be a fucking powerhouse. As you heard Mr. Ronnie Radke say, A Day to Remember are up next. Last band of the night. What a long day. A long, fun day, though. Thank you guys all so much for tuning in and checking out what went down at Self Help Fest. I am Nick Major, APTV correspondent. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Nick underscore Major, as well as Snapchat at Nick.Major to keep up to date with me. Thank you so much for tuning in. See you next time. Mwah. I'm like a tiger.